Hello and welcome back. Today is Wednesday, March 18th, and this is episode 84 of NoobTube Weekly Independent Podcast, where we're in bunker mode because it's time to review Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and you godless savages are always out for blood. Yes, all the YouTube comments are like, Where's Brawl? Where's Brawl? Oh, I hear it in my dreams. Where's Brawl? Where's Brawl? I got your Brawl right here. What? <laughs> Shit, we are in a lot of trouble now, man. <laughs> He's watching on it, and I'm Double Desire. And this week we are talking about Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, Ring of Faith, the longest game name in the whole world, Ratchet and Clank's size matters, but that's not what my fiance said. No. <laughs> that was cool, it's cool. alright. Um, Brain Challenge, and that's it. Where's Brawl? Oh, and Super Smash Brothers Brawl. That's right. New releases include Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Sega Superstars Tennis, Metal Gear Solid Super Ultra Mega Compilation Edition, and Lost in Blue. Three. As always, we'll finish up with our site news, culture, and community sections, but let's get started with our featured game, Brain Challenge! Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh, all man. Right. All right. I think see, all the Brawl fanboys are like, just boys, like, oh, what? Oh. So the best part about that is, is like, there's going to be co- people commenting yeah. in the first 30 seconds of the video. They're just like, oh, these fucking <laughs> noobs, you, you stupid <laughs> faggots don't like Brawl. <laughs> obviously, you like boy anus instead. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Definitely. Oh, we've got the clink. Oh, clink. Uh, brawl. Challenge Where's over. Brawl? <laughs> Where's <laughs> Brawl? Here's Brawl. Here is lots of brawl. Uh, so um, actually, I'm the only one who played it. Now, why is that, Mr. Tobin? Because <laughs> you know they want to hear our opinion. They don't want to hear yeah. my opinion. Yeah. So, so the problem is, I don't know if you read about this, but um, there's the problem with the laser being. Yes. Uh, oh. If your if your Wii laser is dirty, yeah, can't read. So are you gonna have to like send it in? Because like I heard when you send it in, they just clean the laser and send it right back. Which yeah. is like stupid. But then they're also like. For the love of God, don't open your Wii and clean it yourself. <laughs> I think you should do it, man. Totally do it. Just get yeah. a Q-tip. I think you just get some alcohol. I think you'll be fine. I don't know. I mean, I am an expert at cleaning my Wii. <laughs> yes, Say, you are. Every night. Uh, a little too much sometimes. Sometimes, several times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so I haven't played. I was okay. actually very pissed about that. I, I wouldn't play in my fucking Wii. You freaking rented it. You're like, yeah, I'm ex- I even saw you like, you're, um, in the, uh, the shop box. You're like, hey, man, I just got a brawl. I'm about to play. And then like everybody's like, I want to play. I want to play. No. I felt like such a bastard because all these people were all geeked to play and then I, I go in and so. Well, hopefully um, the, the dual layer discs and all that, you'll, if you'll figure it out. I'll get it all fixed. Um, so, so I got a chance to try it. So yes. I rented it because I'm not going to buy this game. I knew what it was going to be about, right? Yeah. So this game, let me start off with a positive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The positive, right? Because like um, there are some good things about this game. Yeah. So you're going to get people to watch the first five minutes. The first five minutes and then, then just, just cut it yeah. off. Yeah. Tell, tell them when to stop watching. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> So the good things about this game, number one, uh, it looks great for the Wii, right? I mean, yeah. it feels really good. It is a 2D shooter, but there's a lot of 3D elements. So um, it's very action-packed. Well, shiny. And shiny, yeah. The UI, there's so many different menus. I mean, it's it's deep. You know what I mean? As yeah. far as uh, the thing. You know the coolest thing about this freaking game? What's up? If you're a Nintendo fan, this game is for you. It's got everything. Well, it's got like every... I can't imagine any character that has been in a Nintendo game that isn't in this. I think yeah. they have every single Pokemon, or at least most of them. They have. You too. So, 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 like, so <laughs> if, if you've done like anime cosplay, you've yeah. dressed up as something in fucking Brawl. Yeah. Or, or two, or yeah. three, or four different things. So I mean, yeah. they picked everything. They picked the, the kid from Earthbound. Do you know what they found? That old like RPG that's set in like the real world. No. He's one of the characters. Um, they picked their ice climbers. A character? <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, so it's just crazy. Not yeah. only that, like, okay, so you have all the main characters. There's like 50, 60, I don't know. Like, they're going to tell me exactly how many there's I'm a sure. bunch. There's a whole bunch. You can unlock, you can unlock Rob, the robot. Oh, nice. You can Little unlock, Robbie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Game & Watch, which I think was in the previous ones. Mm-hmm. You remember the Game & Watch uh, little things? No. They're like LCD crystal display. Uh-huh. Games, Nintendo games. Yeah. But it, so basically, it just looks like a black screen. But every the animation is like this and like this. Oh yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like where they the we're tossing bu- yeah, buckets yeah. on fire yeah, and a whole yeah. bunch of those. So, like it's like that. So I mean, if you like all these games, it's like it's amazing. It's, yeah. It's it's it's, it's got a, a museum. Oh, so you can go like go through and, all the and all read, the yeah, all the games and, and all that. So there's some really cool That's stuff. Cool. And when you play the game, you can unlock all sorts of mm-hmm. shit. You can unlock um, stickers, uh, and you can attach them to your character to get more strength. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, definitely love stickers. Yeah, I, I sh- Who doesn't love stickers? That's right. Um, <laughs> They see that in special ed, you know. That yeah, that's right. It's a every star. Like, don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna go there, but okay. Shoot. Yes. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves stickers. So you got yeah. that. You, you can unlock um, helper characters. You can unlock. You can unlock everything. Yep. Okay. That's great. Yep. I love it. Uh, as far as that, I, I get to think. But thing is, to to actually unlock all this stuff, you 
You have to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> now stop <laughs> watching. All right, stop watching. Okay, so the single player game, uh, they have this whole story mode called Subspace Emissary, which has got like all the JRPG videos in it, right? Where yeah. It's just like dun 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 dun. And they're, dun, dude, dun, they're dun. everywhere. Yeah. It's like you like punch somebody, and there's like a five second video after it. You beat, you know, eight characters, and there's another yeah. video. So like every like three seconds, there's like this huge, long, amazing mm. CG gr video, and I'm like, you know, next time I'm gonna go through this, I don't want to see any of these videos. Are they skippable? I don't know. I didn't. Ooh. Well, I didn't want to skip. Oh, you didn't skip right? them, yeah. so, But that's why they made it. I hope so. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're good. They're good videos. So the game is like ten megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking video is just like it, it all the video. It could have been on the game. Yeah, yeah. It's basically that's right. Just like, all right, let's stick all that. They'll, so, they'll ship like non-subspace emissary edition. It'll be on GameCube. Now. Basically, I'm sure you can do that. Um, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's just like bit, bit. Uh, what is it? Bit uh, like uh, bloat, right? That's yeah, what they, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Exactly what they did with this because I think this was the first dual layer game. That's why you ran into the problem. That's right. Um, so anyhow, so you got to do that, and you got to play the, the first single player game. It's exactly like the other ones. Okay. I mean, if there's a story mode and there's all this other stuff, and you get to choose new characters, but but people love the other ones. People love them. I don't. Th I don't know if they love the single player. Oh, the single. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? I'm only gonna ever played it. Exactly. I don't think that people knew that it had it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like maybe. Who cares? Single, right? single what? Yeah. Uh, why? Yeah. But and it's called brawl, so you brawl against yeah. stuff. But you're playing against AI, and it's like they made it a little different, where it's not just matches. Mm -hmm. The the story mode actually is almost like a platformer. Okay. So, so people you're going like through a show level. Up and yeah, you're going through a level killing just you know random yeah. dudes and so why is that boss characters. Why don't you like that? Because the game mechanics are all basic, so it's, just spazzy, yeah. you know, crazy. Mash a bunch of buttons and you win. So it's just like items drop in, you're grabbing them, throwing them at people, jumping around, exactly. punching people, like punching. And you're trying to do these smash moves, and you're yeah. trying to like you see this big shiny ball come out, and you try to hit it so you can get the super smash, the the final smashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that before. That that, that one it. ninja game that I said that it was similar to the Ninja the Bread one. Man. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing is similar Summer. to Ninja Bread Man. The one where they're they're filming the movie, and there's like oh Kung Fu uh, Chaos. Kung Fu exactly. Chaos. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's exactly what I didn't like about Kung Fu Chaos, and and we've said this before, where it's just like you know if you're just going through and just like crazy shit's happening, and it's made for somebody with ADD. Yeah, you know, just, <laughs> it's it. just it, you know, people go crazy for it. It's just not our thing. I'm sorry, but I mean, like, if it's gonna be like a, a single player, like a, a, a what is it, a fighting game? I'm, I want the Street Fighter level. I want the you know the the massive actions, like the things where where it connects. Yeah, this is not a it's not really a high end mm. like fighting game. You know what I mean? I mean, you're not learning like a multi step combo. It, well, maybe. I mean, yeah. the thing is, I'm sure they're the high end fucking people that play this professionally. Yeah, yeah. I know they're out there. I don't know. And they're all noob tubers, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got those contests coming up. It's crazy. I know, I know. And I'm excited to see what the, the thing is, because I think if you would have gone online, you would have got your ass absolutely whipped. Oh, you think? Um, yeah. Because <laughs> I went out, but the thing is, here's the thing, it's so spazzy. Like, I went online, yeah. and I won a few matches. Oh, really? And I was just like, tap, tap, tap. And I'm like, I don't play these freaking games. <laughs> but I got some I, I got some great item, and I'm like, wham, and I yeah. killed them, you know? It's just like, yeah. yeah. So anyhow, I mean, that's, that's the problem. And there's it. no it's chat. That's just, there's a text chat, I think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's there's no, that's the killer thing, right? Like, there's vents. You just get your laptop yeah. by your Wii, yeah. put it in your USB, well. right? Yeah. So sad. Or, or TeamSpeak. Yeah. So or, that's, no, that's when you start. Hey, what, what? You get your 360 or your PS3. Oh, <laughs> that would people. be hilarious. People can do it. Yeah? I guess yeah, why not? Just having your 360 jet engine running over in the... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. But yeah, it's just, um, you know, like that, that is really one of the drawbacks of the Wii. They didn't put in the high-powered no. uh, online chat functionality and you know, no. get a whole uh, community in there. So it's just, yeah. you're playing against, you know, five other people, and it's just you in your living room. You know, just, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, I can't rub it in your face when I whoop your ass. No. I can't whatever. Yeah, well, I think they have built-in, like, again, I didn't do too much. I didn't, I didn't play a lot of multiplayer, yeah. but I think there might be built-in, like, taunts. Okay. Like, I owned you, but it's obviously really nice. It's not like, I fucked your mother. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> like Mario going over and ball-tapping somebody. <laughs> Eat a dick, bitch! <laughs> that option is so, unfortunately un unavailable. Yep. But, um, yeah, so, so there's all those problems with that. The multiplayer thing is, like, when I played Brawl, I didn't play uh, any multiplayer because you had to have people over. Yeah, back in the day, that's right. So when I played a multiplayer, it's actually not as bad as single player. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, we played it at work for a little bit. I brought it into work, and we're like, and, we're, and when you get three other people, and you're starting to drink some beer yeah. on the sofa. It's, it's a good drinking game. Yeah. All right, I got If it. I was in college, and I had a bunch of people over, I might play it a little yeah. more. But again, I'm not going to give this a thumbs up, because okay. this, this is not my style of game. That's right. It's well done. Yeah. It's just not your thing. <sighs> yeah. Ah, yeah. So, it's just, yeah. that being said, yes. we know that there are a million noob tubers that love this game. Millions. Millions and millions. We like the 60-second review, so oh, we yeah. we always offer this up. We say, you know, if you disagree with us, 
We want to get, you know, we want to get people that, that that love it to talk about the new game so that it's yeah. not just our opinion. Yeah, and like why they like it. Yeah, right? like what what is it? Because the thing is, like we we can tell you all why we hate it. Yeah. But you know, like people are going to want to know why, why should I get like this it? over me- melee? Why, what's 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 new? And also know? somebody saying, I love the old brawl. Here's why I love the new brawl. That'd be a good point of view. That's not exactly. ours. So please send in a 60 second review. Add it as a response to this video. Uh, we will totally play it on the show if it's good. So awesome. Yes, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a, a oh can't read error. <laughs> oh oh I can't. Z- 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 <laughs> and he ejects the disc and rolls. Ejects. Yeah. Just Cannot like, read. Oh 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 oh. Fuck. We we're, we're supposed to be binary, dude. I don't I know. know if this applies. So I just I'll just give it no thumbs up. I tried to give it a thumbs up and it's like, <laughs> oh fail. Yeah. Okay. Fail so thumb. this next game I know you're super excited about. This. I'm digging the shit out of this. You Who would have thought? I, I didn't think so. I would have thought yeah. this game would have sucked. So this is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles colon <laughs> Rings of Fate colon yeah blow yeah, so like, blow. So like what? So what is it? Because I mean, it's it's not your 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 your, your dad's Final Fantasy. No, it's right? not. I mean, it's like it's it's a action adventure platformer RPG. Three D platformer. Three D. Three D. No, no, it's isometric. Yeah. Th- yeah. Uh, isometric. So whatever. Three, three quarters. Three quarters view. view. Yeah. Uh, so. Everything, like all the little details that I hate about all the different RPGs, like you'll have some action RPGs, you'll have some turn-based RPGs, um, not so much platformer RPGs, that's no, kind of a new thing. It's a little new, yeah. I mean, like the Mario ones, the Mario and Luigi ones are kind of platformer yeah, RPGs a little bit. But, so, I, I just, I, the, the little things, this is what sells it for me, so... There's all these things where, you know, you collect a bunch of crap, you're like, oh god damn it, inventory management, that always sucks in RPGs, yeah. wrong. You can pick up everything, you can take it back into town. You don't have, like, any limits or anything. No limits. Really? No limits at all. So you take it back to town, and then they're just like, hey, do you want to build a sword? It takes three of this and four of this, and you've got them. Oh. Yes or no. Boom. And that's it. You that's don't have it. to, like, say, okay, I need to find the recipe, and nope. then they click and drag, nope. and like hit... No, that's no, no, the click and drag. Oh. And then you get okay. all this cool game mechanics where you're leveling up all this stuff, but then you're going around in a party. Yeah. So you'll get to these parts where it's just like you're walking on these ledges and you don't want to fall off. Mm-hmm. So you fall off and you're like, fuck, I'm going to have to walk all the way back around. No, you switch to the other guy who's still up top and didn't fall uh-huh. and then teleport your guy back up. It's, it's kind of like Army of Two then, basically. But more fun? Yeah, but more fun. <laughs> okay, but, more gotcha. fun. but like everything that sucks, there's a shortcut to fix it. Like oh. You're just like, oh, fuck, I fell off there. Yeah. Teleport back up. There's none of this like, huh. if the AI is not good enough to keep up with you, you push yeah. the button, they, they come back up and catch up with you. But that means so you can explore by yourself. Yeah. But not worry about, and then if you get in a fight, you press the button, they show up, and then you fight. So, but again, they just fix that by just like not separating you and just having one guy wandering around. I mean, that's how they do it. All they the could, other Final but there's but there's some cool little mechanics in there where there's like a ledge that's too high to get up to. You can pick up your buddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. jump up, and throw them up there. Oh wow! And yeah. Then, you know, teleport the other dude back up. So you get all these clever like there's puzzle solving, uh-huh. there's exploration, there's collection. Standard RPG stuff. Yeah, like, a lot of the just you know just attack and. So I played for about an hour. So yeah. my my take on it is that. They took the whole Zelda um, like idea, mm-hmm. the whole idea of like the action action adventure, right? And then added a shitload of RPG in the back end, yeah. but then kept it like light. Yeah, like, it's know, very light. Because remember we were talking about this whole concept of like RPG dash light, right? RPG light, like what yeah. sort of things are gonna get these casual players to bring get into, bring them in? I think this is just another game that can do that really well. I think so too. And it's fucking polished. Yeah. That is the I mean, thing. It just like you play it, and there's like it is the frame rate is up. It is oh. shiny. It looks better than other games usually do on the DS. I don't it's think just I've like, seen a game look this good mm-hmm. on the DS. I mean, but it's 3D. I'm looking All at the voice acting. Yeah. You see that shit? Well, mostly in the beginning. Do they have yeah. much later? It, every every cutscene, there's like you as can, it gets as through get the it. game, yeah, like big elements. Because I played about an hour, and I'm like, whoa, you know, I need to spend some time with this. Yeah. We're traveling, actually, yeah. do it, but it's. The music's good. The you it's, know. it's it's a Square Enix game, man. It's it's solid. Square Enix is polished. Um, Square Enix is right. What didn't you like about it? I uh, mean, because you've been playing a lot. I've been playing the crap out of it. One thing I will say is there is the maps are almost too big. They have maps. They they do, but I mean, like <laughs> you get to these parts where there's like these twenty interconnected maps uh-huh. that go between each other, and there's like you get to these parts where you can only get to this map by climbing up on this thing and then uh-huh. you like it, it or you have to like go around because it's the same yeah. map but one's higher level yes. so you have to go around. yeah yeah so I had a problem as well there was a couple parts huh. where it was like I was exploring this level for like an hour and I was like I really am enjoying this game but fuck like I would like huh. to fight a boss now <laughs> cuz you cuz they didn't well they don't they have respawns of enemies don't they uh, you know, I'm not sure. I, I know they don't have respawns of the treasures and stuff. But I mean, like, I would say that that's one thing is like the level, the level, it's 
Too that's big. too big. <laughs> that's a really big part of it. Is like you have to memorize where everything is, yeah. and if you take it seriously, because yeah. I think it was my fault because I was wandering around them and I wasn't paying attention because I'm so used to games being linear. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll get to the emboss. Yeah, no, like, but did, 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 did. eventually, like, no, nothing. Fuck, I gotta like backtrack. So and you actually bring out graph like, paper and like <laughs> draw around like okay. Like point A to point B. <laughs> yeah, I did that with Wolfenstein back in the day. I was like trying to find all, all the all the secret doors. I did that with old gold box uh, D and D games. You remember those? Yeah. Like, yeah. Full radiance. Yeah. Good stuff. But yeah, no, it sounds really good. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's a solid DS game and kind of an it has been there hasn't been that many great DS games lately. Right? No, and it's a weird genre. Like, I can't think of any other games that were like this before. I can think of a few. So like Zelda, Twilight Hour, uh, Twilight Princess. Yeah. Uh, not Twilight Princess. Uh, Phantom Hourglass. Um, a little bit. There's oh, elements there. It's, it's close. Yeah. There are some elements from Rocket Slime, as mm -hmm. far as like you know, picking up stuff and throwing. Yeah. So you kind of tell like it looks like Enix is kind of like this Enix it's side. True. It's true. That's what they did. They took Rocket Slime and they added Zelda. You're right. They yeah. just like basically mixed those two. And then they added Final Fantasy like yeah. Chocobos and Koopos and all yeah, the yeah, yeah, Koopos, Googles and Koopa, shit. Koopa. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, oh, oh, the other thing, what? shit, there's like all this weird little customization, so I found this little Kubo, huh. yeah. and it was just like, and then he's just like, Kubo, Kubo, do you want to edit me? I'm like, oh, yes, oh, I do, yeah. I want to edit you. <laughs> <laughs> let me edit the fuck out of here. And then it's just like, I made his body all black, and his face has just got like a dick on it. <laughs> oh, you can, just gives you a little you draw on him, oh, and then he shows up in the level, and it's just this little Kubo with a dick face. <laughs> he's like, Kubo, Kubo, it's like, ah! Dude, you gotta take a screenshot of that and put it up on the forums. That I should. So, like, no, actually, during the episode, if you can. Yeah, like, get when a you're picture doing of it, it. Your picture, like, oh, that'd be awesome. So, hopefully, it'd be. All right, I'll try and get a picture of it because it's pretty funny. You have a little, little cock coupo. <laughs> cock so, it's just little yeah. fun stuff like that, you know, where it's just like they let you edit it for no reason sure. at all. Just, I mean, it's Square Enix. They are polished motherfuckers. I haven't seen a bad Square Enix game in a long time. There's a few, but I haven't, seen a, I haven't seen a bad one, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so I'm, I'm giving this a thumbs up. I really, really enjoyed it. I played it for an hour, and I liked it. I want yeah. this more. And I think a travel game, this is just perfect. Like, yeah. it's not like Layton. I'm not going to sit and play it for, like, 20 hours one thing I have on my couch. Like, like you're I, not going to play, like, like for constant, right? I would like to play it traveling. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... Because I know it's not going to be, like, like freaking... Layton, I Layton, couldn't like, fucking <laughs> stop. I wouldn't stop to eat. I was just like, <laughs> Professor Layton, fuck, another puzzle. Like, all right, I'm done. All right, one more fucking puzzle! Just one more puzzle! <laughs> Yeah. But one thing I didn't like about this one is like the uh, the save points are kind of spaced out. Does it get better? Uh, no, I mean you because that kind of bugged me. About yeah, this game. yeah, that's you know true. That's I mean? true. I guess if you were traveling, you could only play for like five minutes, then you, you're kind of you're kind of screwed. Yeah, yeah. You do. okay, that's true. The, the save points are about a half an hour apart. So exactly, which is probably good because it makes you at least you know sort of be scared if you die. Yeah, that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah. okay. True. So good game. Next game, um, you also played. I did. <laughs> yeah, we should switch this around. You want to um, talk about Brain Challenge? First? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 actually, yeah, fine. Well, All right, Brain, okay, Brain Challenge. So Brain Challenge is on Xbox Live Arcade. It's a ten dollar game, I think. Yes, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Uh, I only tried the trial. I didn't actually buy it because I think you were going to buy it. Or you did buy it, and yeah. you did buy it, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so um, it's it's pretty much Brain Training, Big Brain Academy, all of those games on the Xbox Live. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Four player online. Multiplayer. Yeah, so I gotta try that. Like, I, know, like I mean, I'm assuming that's a big part of it is getting on there and, and trying some of that. Yeah. So they did add a bunch of games that I've never seen before. Mm. Um, they, a lot of them are ripoffs, though. They add a lot of games that I have yes. seen before. Exactly. Yes. yes. Like the weight things, mm -hmm. where they're just like, this elephant weighs more than this piece of cake, and your mom weighs less than my dong. <laughs> so which is so the most heavy? Dong. Yeah. You circle the dong. Yeah. Dong. Um, <laughs> or like the other one where like you have the different various paths and all that, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like, eh. yeah. So they did a lot of copying. Yeah. But it's decent. It's well done. Yeah. It's well done, and they did all the the same kind of like. You know, you do a couple things and you unlock another one, so you mm -hmm. kind of wants you to keep coming back. And How many are there? like 25 games. 25 games? Sorry, yeah. 25. Oh. There's like five per category, and yeah. then there's like brains. There'll probably be DLC, yeah. I would imagine. I bet. That's true. Um, so, do you think it's worth it? Because I remember you, were, you had some misgivings about actually buying it. I did a little bit, because I, I played it for about an hour. Um, I, I played the demo and I loved it. Yeah, actually. And then I, boop, yeah, I was just like, fuck it, that's awesome, that's great. And then I played it for about an hour, and I was playing, and I was like, Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to come back to this. Like maybe, mm. you know, maybe if I hopped online and and had mm. some had some fights, maybe. But yeah, challenge. But even then, would you do it like every night? Would you do it like every once in a while? I think I uh, I, I may go back to it if I'm feeling like doing some puzzles and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is it's it's honing one ability, right? Like yeah. we've done this before. You hone it and hone it and hone yeah. it. It's not like actually solving a puzzle. Not like latent. not like latent. You know, it's it's not new. Every time I'm just like, all right, I'm going to get quicker at uh -huh. figuring out which thing's heaviest. 
Yeah. So you yeah you don't actually like that mechanic, I know, because you never like like training yourself and to, to get better for the most part. But you do like exper experiencing new things. Yeah, I, right? I really do like new new experiences. So for you, buying the game where you have twenty five, and once you played all twenty five and unlocked them, you'll probably never touch it again. Right. Exactly. Yeah, right? Like once so. I've unlocked everything. Yeah, that'll be my goal. Is to unlock all the things, not then, to. That's exactly what happened with fucking what is that? A uh, Big Brain Academy <laughs> re-edition. I'm like, okay, we all unlock. We were like playing, and all of a sudden, like, okay, my goal is to beat Tobin in every single event, and I yeah. did it. And I'm like, fuck you. And he's like, what game are you talking about? Like, <laughs> forget you. You didn't even touch it afterwards. And I'm like, I just wanted you to beat one so I could just rule you. <laughs> I even left some low hanging fruit where I just beat you by a little bit. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that is your gameplay style. It's true. It's true. Uh, uh, you should you should buy it so you can beat me. No, <laughs> there, I'm not gonna fall for your little trick. Thing. I'm not gonna buy. It. I'll buy it if all the new troopers out there like say, "Why yeah. I like hold an event and say like, hey, let's do this. Let's have four on four and that'd be kind of fun. You know, like hop on and, and get some people actually doing yeah. like brain challenge. Yeah, so my brain duels. heavier. Like how was the measurement? I don't, I, I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's percent of brain use. Oh, that's right. I'm using 37 percent of my brain, sucko. What? Yeah, it's, yeah. Now I've got sixty-three percent unused. Yeah. I don't know why that's awesome. Yeah, it's like, but if your brain's bigger, then it's, you're actually using smaller percent, but you're yeah. using more. Oh, math. Oh, math. It's hard. Oh, it hurts. Next game up. So this is a thumbs up for you, or actually, it probably no, not, no, no, I'm not gonna say thumbs down, thumbs down because it didn't it didn't compel me to keep playing. Gotcha. But yeah, you kind of regret paying ten bucks for it. Yeah, I do gotcha. regret a little bit paying ten bucks for it. But try the demo. I think you should try the demo. Try the demo if you like it. Buy it. Yeah. Meh. Come okay. fight us online. Make Yuzo. Show me, bring out my big ass. That's brain. right. I got a big brain, bitch. <laughs> just slam it down. Yes. Um, Wretched and Sense, Clank, Wretched and Clank. Yes. Size matters. On the what? On the PS2. On the what? Who? So, the story with this is yeah. it came to PSP. You tried it? I tried it for about 10 minutes. I was and like, ah! Oh, oh, the no. Nova Bloom. <laughs> and I was like, ah! Oh. oh, but not for the next game we'll be talking no, about. No, that's true. Yeah, that's so. true. So, um, I played this, I couldn't get into it. So then, fuck. Yeah. So eight months later, nine months later, it comes mm -hmm. out on the PS2. Uh, it's good. Yeah, really. It's really like when it's you played. How, see, the thing is, like, I have a problem. Is like, how can you play a game like that after playing Tools of the Destruction? Isn't it like taking a step backwards? Well, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the thing is, is the, the cool thing about Ratchet is every game there's new level design. Every game mm -hmm. there's new weapons. Yep. Um, you know, there, there's always something. This one that actually added some wacky shit. Yeah, what? So. There's there's always mini games where you like race cars or something. Yeah. This one there's like a Lemmings mini game where there's like oh. these little guys trying to walk down and you have to tell them to like you you like make them like electrified or diggers or whatever oh. and they put a little Lemmings mini game in there. So how do you select them? So you have like a little crosshair or something. You can like go that? back and forth on them and then oh. tell them what to do. And there's wow. and then there's like a bumper cool. car mini game where you're going around in a bumper car uh -huh. and you put like chainsaws on it or like a big thing and you like going to do bumper cars. So it's kind of like big bumping. Yeah, <laughs> basically just like that. And then, and then there's this game where you sneak up with people with a, and you got a hamburger and you're just like, what, bitch? What? I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> yeah. It, it, oh wait, maybe I was playing Burger King games. Yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> so. Uh, it's it's a great ratchet game as usual. Like as yeah. always, they try a couple things that fail. Sure. Like um, they did some hoverboard stuff where you're like racing on hoverboards that yeah. has some of the worst racing controls I've ever had. Even like, more than Yaris? I mean, come on, man. All right, it's not it's as bad as Yaris. Yaris. It's it's not as bad as Yaris. Yaris. Okay. But it's it's just it's it just sloppy. Kills. It yeah. you, you know you turn too hard and like it's 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 kind of like the. Uh, the operation game where it's just like you touch a wall and die. Like, like you're talking about wipeout. Yeah. 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 So, gotcha. But I always thought the, uh, the animal control would give you a little more control. So maybe it, they didn't bad. It. Okay, it was good. really bad. And the one last thing that I'll say that I didn't like about mm -hmm. it was they didn't, they, they kept the camera angle as if it was a PSP. So the whole time I feel like I'm too close. Like I want the camera oh, to crank weird. back about 10 feet. Oh, because I guess you, maybe you are close normally and you kind of want that. Yep. So they didn't change it that much. They didn't much, change then. it. So they just, it was like a straight up port. Yeah. So they just took it and they're just like, oh, that's good enough. And then when, it, when you're playing, you're just like, oh, it feels like I'm kind of like, like too close. Like I'm like yeah. leaning in on a, on a mobile platform. Uh huh. So maybe you can kind of get used to it. But yeah, maybe if you got your TV and kind of just put yeah, it Yeah, just hold it on my lap. lap. <laughs> oh, this is great. This feels just right. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe, but you maybe. know, it's got it's got some problems, okay. but it's a great Ratchet and Clank game. It's I mean, fun. yeah, I mean it's Ratchet, so he's a little biased. I'm a little biased, but with Ratchet, I do love the Ratchet. Yes, I don't know if this is actually done by Insomniac. I think it might have been done by somebody else, and then I don't remember. Do you remember the title screen? If something was different. I, don't I, don't I was too. I was in a hurry. You're like, oh, I was like, he's like, da, da, da. I'm like, fuck you, shut up. I'm like, please, please. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, the next so game. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Right. For me. 
Next game, this is the game that uh, took the Of Doom title off the nub mm -hmm. for you, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm fresh. Yes. Uh, so God of War, you, 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 you beat me down. You're just like... What I say? You said that it's the first time that you played with the nub mm -hmm. and you loved it. Yeah. And I am totally down with you. I, I <laughs> told you. 100%. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Yes. Like, I went and I started playing it and, like, it just, it's responsive. Yeah. And I, I borrowed That's your good. PSP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah, and just, I wanted to finish it, but... And it just, it looks, it looks polished as hell and everything oh, moves God. like it should. Yeah. And the nub never annoyed me. Yeah. Never once. And, and you were talking about, like, the, uh, the, the, the top buttons, actually. The and, like, buttons I absolutely I agree with you. Yes. Because, like, I would be playing for, like, an hour and a half, two hours, and my hands started cramping up. And it wasn't the nub cramp, which uh -huh. I usually get. And I don't understand how that worked. I don't either. Usually I would get a nub cramp 30 minutes in, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we switched on a band. Yeah. Nub, nub cramps. cramps. <laughs> <laughs> Use them in the nub yeah. cramps. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, totally. So like, but, but it's actually more of the, the, the weird RSI from touching these things. But you end up doing that a lot. There's yeah. like, there's like, I forget why it was. There's something where you have to do both and hit something like, like, what uh, was I, don't it was like I don't remember. Having shit or something. But the point is, is yeah, that was annoying. Mm -hmm. It was actually, so I mean, PSP's just not ergonomic, man. That shit is tough. It's like this big flat, flat thing that it's like you're not used to, you're not supposed yeah. to hold it yeah, like it, that. Yeah, it's like holding a dinner plate. <laughs> <laughs> you're like playing a dinner plate. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. So I'm hoping when they actually design the new PSP, they actually figure out the slim like, line. They made it. Maybe they made it smaller. Or but something. I don't know if that helps personally. I don't know either. Like, I, like the DS actually, I can play for like three or four hours. Oh, and, no and problem. I'll cramp, but it'll take a while. And it's more it, of a it rests cramp. in your hand. It's nice. Yeah, except for the fat. I mean, I imagine mm. the difference. your 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 weak arm is now oh. a, little, a little less. That's right. I'm so happy to have the the the, the thin. Is it the nice? fat was the fat was just breaking my. Uh, Power yeah. wrist. <laughs> your your ultimate frisbee. My <laughs> ultimate frisbee wrist. That's, that's right. Why would I do anything like that? Um, yeah. So I I agree with you. God of War: Chains of Olympus. Fantastic. It's game. an amazing game. And I think if you don't have a PSP and you need a media type device. Yeah. Right. If you mm -hmm. need it, because like if you don't, because like thing is, I don't think a God of War is a game to buy just the PSP. No. Mm -hmm. But if you need like an MP3 player slash video player. Then get it now. Yeah. And if you need it, like if you don't yeah. have an iPod, uh, you know, video or anything like that, like now's a good chance to get it because there's some good games coming out. Can you play like just movies on the PSP, or do you have to hack it? No. You can just play. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't. I don't. Understand. I don't know what that means, yeah, but I, I've I heard that people do bad things to PSPs. <laughs> yes. Um, so anyhow, but I believe yeah, it, you can put MP3s on it, you can put images on it, you can put movies. Nice. You just have to encode it to it, so you have sure. to get like whatever. a yeah. Viora or whatever. Yeah. So like, how you get those videos in the first place? Who, who knows? I mean, I don't know. there's things on the internet yes. that nobody needs to know about. There are rumors. The internet is serious business. Yes. That's something that everyone should go check out, by the way. InternetIsSeriousBusiness.com. It's a fantastic it's a, website. I, everyone should just go check it out. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying it's great. Is this a dumb girl thing? No, it's not. Okay. I'm not going to say what it is. You should check it out later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust this guy. Don't trust him. Okay, so that is the game we've been playing. That is, that's good. It's good. That's a lot of games you're, right you're there. You're going to get a lot of games to watch. <laughs> I, I've never heard that. That must be that's a neat thing. It's a new one. It's an, it's great. It's good. When did you hear this? Uh, <laughs> like really? last week. <laughs> it's the new hotness. It's the new hotness. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell all your friends. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right, game. That's the games. All right. So sadly, um, next week's not so pretty. Um, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at my. Like, no. No, not really. Um, really. But the first game, actually, I'm kind of interested in playing because we never okay. really got to play the the first one. Yeah. Uh, so Rainbow Six Vegas Two. Um, it's in Vegas. Oh yeah, still hmm. interesting. Um, there's a lot of things to do in Vegas apparently. Uh, casinos. Yeah. But I don't think there's actually gambling mini games. It's like Rainbow Six Vegas Two. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> or Rainbow Six Vegas Two outside the city limits. City limits are like cat house. You know what I mean? I mean that's that right. Actually, be pretty good if they had a special mission where you had to like rescue hostages. Yeah. And terrorists found like some politician. And then you have like the God of War style like sex. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That would be awesome. So but, did you um, play Rainbow Six Vegas 1? Uh, I played the demo and I couldn't okay. get that much into it, but so many, a lot of people love it. So is that the one where you, the, the multiplayer was like creeping around, like all the creeping? A little creeping. bit, but there, there was a lot of cover. Okay. Like it was all about cover. Yeah. And, and kind of like almost more so than Gears of War. Gears of War is like you hit any button, you go there, yeah. like, this one you cover, you kind of peek out, you do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. The thing is like, I'm kind of curious if this will be the game that kind of gets me off of Call of Duty, because I'm still playing that shit like all the time. So. Yeah. Well, but the big thing for you with that also is the community, man. Like you are playing with noob tubers all the time. Dude, all the time. Yeah, like it's and it's it's a lot of fun yeah. because and the thing is like this is coming out next week, and in three weeks, 
Call of Duty's coming out with four new maps. Oh, so like, you're burnt. Whew, if any new knows, they, they know what they're doing. Like, they should have done like simultaneous release, just a big fuck you. They should just kept on coming like, like come on, yeah. finish it, finish it, we gotta do this. They should, they should bump the maps up. They're just like, oh, I know. oh, oh here's the Rainbow one. Six came out? That's weird, we've got maps today, guys. Hey, what's up? Awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what's Rainbow, Rainbow One? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, and they just released videos of all the maps. Yeah. They're like, you know, they do this huge marketing push of all yeah. the maps. So I'm looking at all the videos, I'm like, Oh, you can play in Chinatown, you can play in like all these other places, awesome. and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, rent, and I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, I'll rent it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. God, they got you, man. That's they like, they just, time. they know what they're doing. And it's like 10 bucks, like, I'll play 20. You know? <laughs> it's like, I want new maps so bad. Oh, shit. Dude, That's awesome when you're so saying that you're being undersold. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah. Oh. Do I love this? You're the forums, so like, didn't charge enough for these maps. <laughs> You're all mad. Well, I've heard it was free. Like, some people say it was free. I'm like, why? No, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like, no, no, I'll, I'll pay you guys. Yeah. If you go to do it sooner, like, I'll pay you. Yeah. Uh, Especially if people can't play with you, you bought the new maps, you're playing them. Oh, yeah. like, I'd like to join. Oh, you oh, need to buy these maps. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No, see, everybody that's playing on YouTube better buy the new maps. Yeah. That's where it's going to well, be. Or they won't be playing. Because they won't be playing. That's the way it is. That's right. Um, so Rainbow Six Vegas 2, it looks good. I will be renting it. Are you, you're not so interested, Soda, maybe? Uh, I'll, I'll rent it. I mean, like, not there's nothing house. else coming out. I'll, I'll rent it and play with some maybe YouTubers. You can, maybe you can play Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 all the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've already played those damn games. I know. Uh, but before we get there, uh, Sega's yeah. Sonic So it's not Team Sonic. Yeah. It is uh, uh, Sumo something, rather. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> um, Sumos are cool. Uh, but my understanding is this is kind of like Mario Tennis. The Mario, oh yeah. Okay. Where they take all different characters. Except the thing is, I was looking at the list of characters that you can play. Yeah. And a bunch you of know, nobodies. Sega has some really shitty characters. I mean, like, not shitty, but it's just like really obscure yeah. characters. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, ooh la la from Space Channel 5? What? The, the two monkeys from Super Monkey Ball? They don't even have names. It's like, e, e, I don't even know. You know what they are, right? You can that's fucked up. Um, who else was it? Oh yeah, Eggman, Shadow, Sonic, obviously. Yeah. Um, they got they got dick Al all for characters. Yeah. They never they never did a really good job. I mean, Nintendo knows how to make characters. Yeah. Even they're like really like sketchy, like it, like fucking Pit from uh, Kid Icarus, right? Like everyone loves him. And I'm just yeah. like, this is this crappy ass. I'm gonna keep saying it. This is this crappy ass <laughs> game a long time ago. Right? But it, the people still love it. Yeah. But who? They got Chester it? from Chester the Molester on on the Dreamcast. That, that's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bonk yeah. from Turbo Graphics. I mean, come on, like nobody really makes good characters, so no. it's, it's unfortunate. I'm, I don't think I'll be playing this one. I will not because do you see the last word in the in the game name? Tennis. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I could give a shit. Um, I'm gonna find a tennis game you're gonna love. No, you're not. I will. Back I'll, play, I'll play Super Dodgeball when that comes out. That, oh yeah. Oh, that is the shit. That's right. Actually, I think it's on DS, isn't it? I thought they were coming out with a nice one, like a next gen one. Well, there's Pirates vs. Ninja Dog Ball, which I think is that's like what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of. I don't yeah. think it's like a $60. No, 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 no. Because no, 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 that better be a, a very good game. I'm just saying, game. Super Dodgeball back on the NES, I oh, played the shit out of that game. Like the Russians, you can play the Russians and the Japanese. You're like, Who made that? Do you remember? But I mean, they were like kind of like anime, like little oh, yeah. flat characters. Yeah, big guys. Yeah. Yeah. And they had, but they had like the big guys, the little yeah. guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Oh, awesome! Oh, such a good the supercharged balls would like knock people's shit out. Yeah, I love that. Ball. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna play that shit at all. Uh, so next okay, up so is Metal Gear Solid: The Essential Ultra Mega Super Cool Guy Collection. That's one, two, Metal three. Metal Gear One, Two, and Three. So on the forums, people were telling me they're like, "You played the wrong Metal Gear Solid Three. This other one came out like two years later." The director's cut. It was called like Metal Gear Solid Three Subsistence. Yeah. Well, wait, no, no, no. This what Metal Gear Solid Two was Substance, right? Substance, maybe. I don't know, but there was apparently Snake two. Eater, um, there's apparently two Metal Gear Solid Threes. Like two years after Three came out, they came out with Three with like extra with, shit, with extra stuff. Yeah, you're kidding me. No, I know. So, people on the phones like, you gotta try, you gotta try, you gotta try it. I, I was think like, the one that comes in here is actually the one with um with Three, the director's cut. So I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean. I, was, I, I probably still won't play it. I don't, I don't. But it's like I think you get all three for like thirty bucks. The loudest phone in the whole world. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be able to hear it. Right, right, right. So my cell phone's going off. Um, yeah. So sorry about that. So uh, let's see. So but 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 Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. But like number one was on the PS One. I know. And I think you get PS One discs. So you get yeah. two CDs <laughs> with black. Remember, it's all black. Yeah. So it's like Snake will just be like a pixel. Yeah. It's like I'm sneaking. <laughs> and you know, if you put it on your PS Three, I bet you they upconvert. 
So the pixel's all shiny. It's huge. <laughs> it's up converted. Did you get the smoke in the first one? I don't even remember. I only remember the smoke in the second one. It's so awesome. We'd find like laser beams and shit. Like, yeah. Ah, oh, it's cool. Well, how'd they do it in America? Did they actually smoke? Did they like say, oh, you have the smoke? No, they didn't. America. He was he was smoking. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Interesting. Uh, but I probably won't play this. No, I probably won't. But I think I, it's good for your you know retro fans out there. Yeah, go check it out. Yeah, but I mean retro fans. Yeah, that's true. They probably already have it. But there's milk in this shit. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, next up, one, Lost in Blue three. Yeah. Uh, so I played two. You reviewed it for me. I reviewed it as basically I as I understand it is make my sandwich bitch. Is <laughs> the name is like a subtitle. I remember you reviewed this game. Was like I don't know what this game is. <laughs> that was your description. You're just like apparently I'm collecting food that this girl is making for me. <laughs> and, 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 and so, do you win? <laughs> Well, you're shipwrecked. Yeah. So with a girl. So it's kind of like a little bit of you know lost. Uh, lost what is, what's that one fucking with with Brooke Shields? Oh. Uh, blue 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 Yaoi. Yeah, no, not even that, because it's a boy and a girl, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, it's one of those like things where like, oh, I wish I could be stranded on an island with a girl yeah. and have her cook food for me. God, and, that, is, that is such a sad window into the Japanese psyche. It's just like, dude, I know I could get a girl if I was yeah. the only human being on the planet with her. <laughs> it sells here, so it can't just be Japanese. Does it really sell here? Like, they re well, if they don't, if they release here and sold zero copies, do you think they would release two and three? Yeah, that's true. Right? That's true. So it probably sells a few copies. So yeah. they, keep they have to translate all that shit. All right, well, whatever. We don't so whatever, we don't care. But I think it's uh, if you like that kind of stuff, whatever. Yes, yeah, so we got dick all to play next week. So I guess I'll be playing Rainbow Six with you. Uh, so Rainbow Six. Um, I think I'll be I'll... playing more Ratchet too. Yeah. Uh, what will I play? Dragon Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six. <laughs> yeah, that'll be our game. So we don't have much games next week. If you guys can think of anything, let us know. Yeah. Okay, we have a lot of side games. Let's yeah. Try like and we just went so long. <laughs> no, no kidding. But we will go quickly. So this we are 40 minutes. Are you kidding me? No. All right, we'll do this in 10 minutes. We'll be a little rushed, but it's okay. <laughs> so let's try for the server. Um, we are moving to a dedicated server. Yeah. So uh, we're we gonna... talked about this before. Yeah. The we... site's gotten slow. Exactly. And uh, we're just looking for uh, donations. And what we want is uh, we want to thank uh, John Slaver, Cal Launcher, Cyrus, and 540. Thank yeah. you very much for donating. We need a few more, and then we'll be pretty much set. We're almost there. We're like 90% of the way. A couple more donations, and we're good to go with a dedicated service on YouTube. You guys are fucking awesome, by the way. Thank you for chipping in. That's right. We got um, some big shit going on in the forums. Oh, big time. So, a whole bunch of new moderators. Yeah. Um, we decided to do one moderator per board, per mm -hmm. board section. Exactly. And uh, we, we did it entirely merit-based. These are the people that have been there, uh, been contributing. People, yeah. people you know, they're, they're, they're uh, constructive, mm -hmm. very helpful, very cool. They run events. Yes, they run events. <clears throat> they do a lot of things that we basically like to reward and we want other people to do. So we're hoping they'll lead by example, yeah. we'll get more people. And it's actually had, just announcing them themselves, it's just like, Allison, the activity on the board is just skyrocketing. That's awesome. I don't know if people like want to be mods or whatever, but it's just like, there's like eight events going on right now. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, it's crazy. So it's awesome. So thank you very much. We have HP 1703, Magenta, Game Shark, Cilia, Good Enough For Me, Quag, and Kelme. Thank yeah. you very much. You guys, and welcome. All. It's awesome. Yeah. So seven new moderators. That is that is badass. Congratulations, guys. Mm -hmm. um, next up is the Dig Push. The Dig so Push. We're getting closer to the top, so things are kind of slowing down. But it's you not, guys have been digging like crazy. Yeah, it's not even just slowing down. It's just the fact that basically the amount of digs we need to get to the next spot. Yeah. It's like it's getting bigger. You got to do like hundreds to jump up the next spot. So right now, uh, we were at 18 last mm -hmm. week. Just one week ago, we were at 18. This is front page top 20 on yes. dig.com. Top 15, actually. Top 15. We were on the second page. Yeah. Now we are number 14. That's on the first page. First page, baby. And we have two WoW Radio podcasts ahead of us. The first one is Blue PLZ, Blue Please. Listen to it. Yeah. Let us know if you think they are better than us. And, and then vote for us. us. And then vote for us. <laughs> so go dig. Uh, definitely push. And uh, we'll be announcing anytime we get a new, uh, what is it, a new little notch on our belt. That's right. Basically. That's so. right. So good job digging. Go to dig.com. Go to the podcast section. Make a new account. And dig NoobTube. And dig a bunch of other stuff, too. Yeah. Okay. So we have another entry in our uh, X in oh, 60 fun. Seconds. We yes. have Mega Man in 60 Seconds uh, given to us by Iceman. Yes. And we want you to check it out. This is Iceman's review of Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is one of the best 2D side-scrolling platformers on the net. The game involves you choosing one of eight stages in any order you want, making your way to the end and defeating the boss. Every time you defeat the boss, you'll get their weapon, which can be used to help you defeat another boss. Each boss has a weakness to a certain boss's weapon, so choosing the right weapon is key to success. This gives the game a sort of strategic element and a lot of replay value. 
Defeating certain bosses will give you bonus items like temporary floating platforms and a jet powered surfboard. Once you've defeated all the bosses, you have to enter Dr. Wily's castle. There are a total of six stages, each with their own boss, and getting progressively harder as they go along. We have no excuse for not picking this game up because it's on the NES, PS1 books, Capcom's classic books, and Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which was released on GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. Europeans can download it from the Wii Virtual Console, and I give this game a thumbs up. That guy loves Mega Man. Dude, Iceman with the props. I know. Every video he sends in, he's just like, oh, by the way, blah, blah, blickety blah. It's just like, I bought every fucking thing ever having to do with that game. Yeah. It's like, I love Mega Man. Like, he I, does. I want to see his other arm, because he doesn't, I don't know if he shows it, but does his other arm have like a blaster cannon, like surgically <laughs> grafted to it? I don't know. <laughs> We've never seen his other arm. No. Let us know. <laughs> um, so, but yeah. user generated content this oh, week dude. was fucking crazy. We got some amazing videos. Yeah. We have a Locke's History of a Consoles video, which is hilarious and awesome. He yeah. did like eight minutes, he's like the little <laughs> dance future <laughs> dance. Yeah. Um, oh, and Demi did an interview. So he's been doing like weekly oh. interviews. Have you, did you see that one? So it's, it's just text based, unfortunately. So he like yeah. did it through text, but he interviewed Celia. Who runs all of our shoot contests? Very cool. And this is, he's gonna basically every week gonna go uh, find another forum member and like just ask him questions. And at the very end, you know what question he asks? What's that? Who do you like better, Tobin or Yuzo? Oh, oh, that's rough. rough. I know. It's a popularity contest. Oh man, oh, that's gonna mean. it's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's I know. Mean. But I won this time. So. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. I'm gonna cry. Silly. Oh, oh. broke his heart. <laughs> But uh, no, we had that, and um, have you? Did you see the cage match? Show? That, that, that yes, show? yes. Some good stuff. That is awesome. Like yeah. trivia feud. So um, you know what I've been hearing? What's that? Like he wants to do me against you at some point. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So Sunflower Jam and Lock are putting it together every yeah. week, and uh, last week was HP seventeen oh three versus Jam. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't get to finish it. But yeah, I don't know who won that. I don't know either. I saw that posted. I know, and yeah. I'm like, oh, so yeah, so it's good. It's awesome. Every week, just just a trivia contest. It's like a fucking game show. That is so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Good stuff. job, guys. Good job putting this shit together. That is fucking sweet. That's exactly the kind of stuff we love. Mm -hmm. Like I love going to the forums every day. Like I'll go to the forums and something just makes me smile. Yeah, something new. Something new. Man, that's awesome. Love it! Love it! Okay, um, so what is the next event? Big ass Super uh, March Madness Tournament for Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Where's Brawl? Where is Brawl? Right, right. fucking here. That's right. Where Brawl is. Yeah. <laughs> so Denny V Man uh, will be showing a video at the end of this episode. Set up the tournament and it's it's awesome. That video is so funny. So yeah. if you watch after the end of this episode, I'm gonna drop the video on the end, and it's uh, his like 1950s documentary style <laughs> video for the Smash Brothers tournament. Sadly, by the time you guys see this video, it's already gonna be happening. Yeah, it's actually but, I think it might have already happened at this point. Or yeah. The sign-ups will be closed. Yeah, the sign-ups will be closed, but there will be a challenge ladder next, so if you're interested in playing Brawl against other new tubers, head to the forums and hop on the challenge ladder. And there are already like almost maybe 30 people signed up for this for this contest. People so it's love be Brawl. Crazy. Yeah. So uh, maybe we don't like it, but everybody in the community does and play with each other. So, so awesome. awesome. Knock yourselves out. Yeah, and uh, did you see Demi's a little, Demi's a little audio thing? Which one? The, the one where he, t somebody posted this really long thing. <laughs> so, I, so this guy, this guy showed up and he wrote this incomprehensible fucking net speak, three page long post about, about Assassin's Creed licking Assassin's his Creed. ass juice. Licking his ass juice and it's all just full of misspellings. Whatever. We love you. Thanks for showing up the yeah, forums. But it. you need to learn to write better. <laughs> and Debbie V-Man put it to Inya and he read it like a poem. That shit was hilarious. Oh, dude, I died. I was crying. Yeah. And my stomach hurt. So it's a lock thread right now, unfortunately. But go yeah. check it out. It's wow. It's it's pretty. Yeah, cool. That was really funny. Yeah. So Demi V Man, awesome stuff. Um, shoop 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 de doop shoop doop. Uh, who's the winner of last week? Mr. Uh, last week, Tommy Thunderlips has been dropping the knowledge on these on these. He he'll usually submit like four, and it's not At like least. four shitty ones. No, he'll drop like four awesome ones. He's raising the bar for everybody. And each one, I'm like. I want to move for that one. I like that one. I know. And like, oh, he did. Uh, what is it? Tobin shot. Hopefully, you see it. Yeah. Um, you're really pissed um, off. You're not gonna play drive shot. You will not. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> it's fucking like hate. Yeah, you know, say. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'll be I'll be dropping in all the uh, all the submissions plus the winner for this week while we're talking. Mm -hmm. Um. The shoot contest, we didn't mention it last week, uh, it didn't get up in time, but this week I'm going to put in all the ones from last week, we'll have to do some sort of catch up at some point. Yeah, we'll do something. Uh, uh, but and the next one's already up for vote. Yes. And there's some really good stuff already showing Oh up, man, dude. people have been dropping some <sighs> hilarious ones. Man, you know, it's just like some of those, uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can talk about it. We can talk, talk about, about it. it. Okay, so uh, the other thing we want to mention is new Cube Arcade number 19. Keyman Solo is hitting it every week. Yeah. Oh, and uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Silly has been doing the shoot contest. Uh, Tarnation is the name of the new game, and yes. the winner of last week is... Who's that? Arcuda. Arcuda! Number one. He did a Not nice score. Not out. So good job, Arcuda. Mm -hmm. This week, uh, hop on and play Tarnation against other noob tubers. That's interesting. Yeah, you should give it a try. So I we have nothing else to play. That's a good point. I better hop in. Like one of these, I would love to just win the noob tuber arcade. I just, like sit down and just like fuck you guys. I think you have to like, shoot it. Because <laughs> dude, no, I'm telling you, like, no, don't shoot. But no, shoot for shit. But but people are people spend a lot of time. Yeah, I'm I know. Serious, man. I know. They take and, it very seriously. And they find like the exploits. They don't like. You know, shoot it, but yeah. they'll like say, "Oh, well, if you hang out in this corner for two minutes, or you can get yeah. 11 billion points." Basically, yeah. yeah. So, um, cool. So every week, uh, we're out to voicemails. Every week, we feature audio and voicemails on the show. If you have a burning question, burning desire, request, or funny story, please give us a ring. And you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480, or send your audio or video 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 files to feedback at noobtube.com. You can also do video responses on YouTube. Yes, video questions are preferred, but please keep your questions to. Under 60 seconds if you wanted them featured on the show. Yeah, and don't forget the yow. Yow. First up, uh, what appears to be Surfer Bill. Sometimes you guys don't say your names clearly, so I'm going to make names up, so fuck you. Yes. Uh, next up, Surfer Bill. <laughs> hey, what's up, NoobTube? This is Surfer Bill from the forums. Uh, first off, love your podcast. It's awesome every week. It's the only one I watch. It's the only one I need to watch because it's got it all. Uh, just got a couple quick questions for you. Um, are you guys into anything else other than gaming? Like, what are your hobbies? You know, sports, photography, whatever. Um, and the second thing is, how long did you all wait uh, until you let your significant others know that you're really into gaming and stuff? Was did you wait a long time, um, or did you, you know, slowly let them into it? Uh, and how did they react? Um, I tend to wait a little while before I let them know, you know, kind of what a geek I am deep down inside. But uh, you know, just kind of curious as to what their feelings were on it and if they freaked or what. That's it. Keep up the good work. I'll check you guys later. Yow. Oh, that's a good question, Surfer Bill. Yes. Um, um, what was the first thing, though? Like it was hobbies. hobbies. What are your hobbies? Um, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is a big part it's of it. Pretty big. And video games? Yeah. Was, you guys probably didn't know that. Um, um, I, I've been doing some coding on the iPhone mm, for fun. That's right. I'm doing a few web projects on the side. Yeah. Um, we do. I, I, do oh, I ride bikes. Oh, I, right. I do a, I do like thirty mile bike rides on the weekends. I like yes. bike riding. As you can tell, he's actually slimmed down a bit. I actually have. If you oh, go back no. and watch the earlier news, I'm, I'm down a couple pounds. Yes, and, I'm, so. and I'm due actually. <laughs> I'll do it's a summer. Summer. It's summer. It's summer. Yeah. So not, not um, time, but, but for hiding our geekness from our women, we're both very lucky. I think so. I, I don't know but if you did. I, I, did you kind of hide a little bit? So okay. So when I first met my wife, yeah, when we were first dating and stuff like that, like I didn't talk about any of the stuff <laughs> I did. But after you know a few months or something like that, when mm. she stayed over, you know, she'd be. Go to sleep, yeah. and I'd be going downstairs. She's like, "What you doing?" And then she like, because I was big into World of Warcraft at the time. Yeah, and it's like, why are you just running all the time? You know, so it's just kind of like a little bit, little by little. Yeah, well, right? so she was not into games at all. Like she never she played. She still wasn't into games. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> so, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? But I mean, she wasn't even familiar with them. Not really. Okay. No, so it's just like yeah. So yeah, but she was really cool with it though, right? Uh, as long as you know. <laughs> It's just like as long as you put your time in. I'm for my time in. Yeah, right? I got the quota. I got so you. Gotta, but you with you. Like, I didn't have to hide it at all. My cool. woman's pretty cool. Um, you know, we we would play like uh, one of the first couple times I hung out with her. We were actually playing some Mortal Kombat, and we all got Whoa. got around. And like she's she's not a gamer. Yeah. But like we were all sitting around drinking, having a good time. We were all kind of playing. She's like, yeah, I'll play whatever. Like so, and I was like, oh, by the way, I'm a game obsessive freak. <laughs> Hope that's cool <laughs> with you. <laughs> And, and it worked out all right because I figured it's gonna come out eventually. I'm not gonna hide it because what's gonna happen is like six months from now she's like, why are you playing games all the time? Yeah. Like we're done. And I think that's so. what you gotta do if you're gonna like you know date somebody that maybe may or not you gotta like bring it up yeah. kind of soon. Yeah, because they gotta know what they're getting into. Yeah. And with us you're getting into some obsessive ass shit. Hell yeah. So uh, next up is a noob's epiphany. Hmm. While well, you do that, I'm gonna do something. Yes. <laughs> Hey NoobTube, it's uh, it's the Noob's Epiphany here, and uh, I'm just calling to say or ask, um, what are you looking forward to in the next line of video game consoles? Um, it's a ways away, but yeah, nice to know in advance. Anyway, so I would I would be looking forward to a uh, multiple disk drive, for example, putting or uh, having like the PS3 and having a Blu-ray movie and like Unreal Tournament 3 and Team Fortress 2 in it or the orange box so when you're done watching the uh, 
in a movie, you can just dominate some kids in Team Fortress 2. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's it. And, oh, Yuzo needs to play Unreal Tournament 3 because that is the shit. Um, I think that's it. So, yow! Yeah, you know what's really sad? What? I had Unreal Tournament 3 from uh, Hollywood for two weeks, and I never stuck it in. Wow. It was like, it was like a really, really busy period yeah, around yeah. the time, and I'm like, oh, I'll get to it, oh, I'll get to it. And then I'm like, oh, like Uncharted came out. Like, oh, okay, let me turn it back to <laughs> That's hilarious. I know, sorry, but yeah, I'll go get it again. I mean, I tried the PC demo. So I would say I would say that his views on the next-gen stuff is actually very short-sighted. Mm. So they're not going to put multiple drives on there. No, the next-gen... Digital download. Digital download. 100%. So, if you want a Blu-ray movie, download it. If you want a new game, download mm -hmm. it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Not next gen, but maybe the generation after that. I think even next gen, because you can do that today. I was gonna say no drives. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe maybe like two generations from now, just no drive. Why would you bother? It's like, where's the where's the floppy drive on my on my computer right now? I have a floppy drive. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have an no, but I have an option. For yeah. it. Anyways, but no. I mean, Gunts give me a floppy drive. Hmm. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Floppy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but no, I think like when do you that's think where it's headed. The, 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 no, no, <laughs> the DLC, the downloaded stuff, that's where it's going. That's but, where we're headed. Well, let's 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 break it down, right? Like, what? When do you think the new console will be coming out? I think we still have about three to five years, probably. Probably, probably three. Actually. Yeah, probably three. So, let's so 2011. Say 2011. Um, and I think in three years, what you're gonna see is I think you could, you may very well have a non-drive console. By th in three maybe. Years, maybe. Um, everything it's tough to do that because. There's always going to be people that don't have internet, but I mean, three years from now, we're talking pretty ubiquitous. Pretty ubiquitous. Uh, yeah. We're gonna. I mean, we already have band. There's there's high high uh, high speed bandwidth in something like seventy percent of American households, which is really that seems really high. Is that or internet? Maybe it's just internet. I think it's just internet. Yeah. Okay. I think like, fifty percent of that is like. Okay, high so maybe speed. high speed was like 30, 40 percent. Yeah, but yeah. the point is, it's fucking high. Because the people that don't have high speed probably aren't paying for game consoles because uh, they got other problems. Yeah, but but there's a few. But I, I think the thing is, like, if you look at three years from now, and you kind of think of all the things, you know, they're they're gonna try to make it even more so that it is the computer in the living room, and you're yeah. gonna be doing pretty much everything. Media so, center, media center already, center. like controlling your house probably. Communication device, controlling your house maybe. I uh, mean, that's where I think that's what's gonna be. Because right now you kind of get close where you can watch movies on it, but mm -hmm. it's not fully integrated in. So yeah, that's my guess. Um, Zazax is next. Mm. Hey, YouTube, it's Zazax from the forums. I was wondering what's the scariest game you guys have ever played. Personally, I think Resident Evil 4. One of the scariest ones I've ever played, but uh, which one's your scariest? Yow! I didn't think Resident Evil 4 was that scary. No, 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 it was more action for me. It was, it was good. I really yeah. loved it. Um, I would say I've got a tie. I've got a tie okay, for two. Yours? So... System Shock 2. Ooh, that was scary. The monkeys. Fucking the scary monkeys. with the monkeys and the woman where she's just like, where she's just like, I'm sorry. You know, just like, <laughs> must protect the children. I was like, ah! <laughs> so that scared the piss out of me. That was a long time ago, too. It was yeah. long. Uh, the other one was uh, Silent Hill 2. 2, okay. Silent Hill 2 scared the bejesus out of me. Did you play any of the other ones after it? I did. I played Silent Hill 3. I didn't like it as much. Okay. So I actually don't think I've been super scared of a game yeah. in a while. You know what I mean? Because I'll play like I played a little bit of Condemned, I played Doom, I played like all these scary quote unquote games. They're like more annoying than scary. You know, yeah, exactly. There was just like <laughs> I am annoyed. I am not here. I know. Like, but like, like last time I was truly like you know like I had trouble sleeping mm -hmm. was kind of like when I was still I think I was still in high school, but like Alone in the Dark one mm. that scared because that was really the first survival horror game. Yeah. The very first one, and it was like fucking like big pixels, right? These huge things, but it was just like, it was scary for some reason. I don't know why. That one and probably the first one was an evil. Yeah. Like, like just like going to the next door, like what's next? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Like that shock was kind of scary. It was scary, but it was more atmospheric. Yeah. I didn't like jump. You know yeah, what I mean? that's true. But it was like there's some parts of this, some pretty high stress where you're just kind of like yeah. a little frightened. But at this point, like I don't know if I can get as scared as I was when I was like that's true. a kid. It's like you watching know? horror movies now when you're a kid. Like, yeah, horror movies, you're scared and yeah. now or yeah. disgusted. Yeah. So that's true. like once you know more about like the fact that this probably doesn't exist, like I get more scared by like fucking like sounds of the lambs than anything else. That's true. So I think you're more likely to, to whenever somebody ever asks you that question, yeah. the answer is going to be games that you played when you were younger. Yeah. So you've kind of gotten the scare out of your system. Maybe. Does because I mean, he was scared by Resident Evil 4, so... Maybe he's like 12. Maybe he's... Yeah. Maybe? We just insulted the shit out of Zazak's like 25. We don't mean that. We yeah. don't mean that, absolutely. Whatever, 10-year-old <laughs> bitch. Um, <laughs> so next up is losing... <laughs> That was mean for no, no reason. I know. That, was just, that was terrible. Um, um, next up is Lucy and the Chance. 
pers- oh, wait. Hi, this is Lucien Lachance from the forums. And knowing that Persona 3 was your favorite RPG of last year, or JRPG at least, I thought you'd be interested to know that they've just announced Persona 4 for the PS2. Two! Two, Two motherfucker, they still make games for it! You know, I think it's kind of nice that they're not forcing people to buy a $600 paperweight to play their games. But, you know, I have one of those $600 paperweights, and I would very much like to see a Persona on the PS3. What are your thoughts on the matter? So, anyway... <laughs> oh, oh, we got cut off a little bit. I love the two motherfucker. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> well, yes, I, I own a six hundred dollar paperweight for the most part. It's my Uncharted machine, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so what the fuck? Why are they developing games in the PS2 still? Because there's fifteen million or so out there. One hundred and twenty million. One hundred twenty. One hundred and twenty million. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I missed a zero. God damn. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's it is the most popular console on planet Earth. Yeah, um, it's probably easy to build. They probably didn't change the engine that much. I'm guessing with PS yeah. PS PS4. Yeah. Uh, what? Persona, Persona Four, 4. yeah, Sorry. but that does that does kind of suck, you know. Like I, I'm much less likely to play a PS2 game, like you said when I was playing Ratchet. Ratchet? And Clank. Well, but I mean, like you know, I was playing. I was like, God damn it! You oh know, really? Like, oh, I wish this looked better. Mm, yeah, like, last true. gen, like I, you know, I had to go and like blow the dust off my PS2 and shake <laughs> the dead rats out of it, you know. Well, you'd be able to just stick it into your PS3 theoretically. Right? Theoretically, it just looks like ass. It'll I think that's like that's the problem, right? It's yeah. gonna look like ass. The thing is, like, if you just took a, a great game, if you took God of War Three, for example, if it yeah. was supposed to only be on the God, PS2. I'd still play it. I would too. I would too. You know, I would. Sure. It's just sad. Like it's just unfortunate. But the, uh, but the other option would be them developing it and porting it to the PS3. And and taking another couple of years, probably. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say it's probably also gonna be poop. Right. Why? Like you develop a PS2 game, and then port it to the PS3. It's like you're not gonna improve it as much <laughs> as if you developed it natively on an eight-core machine. Uh, Bully wasn't bad. That's true. <laughs> right. That's I mean, true. Bully just did that. <laughs> Well, Kami's gonna do that with, with that's PS2. True. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, so it could happen. If, if it's a good development team, Bully is not the greatest example of doing no. something right. No. Speaking of, where's my fucking patch? That's right. Where's the fucking Bully patch? You said a week, and it's been a week and a half. I still haven't played it. Usually, I haven't played it. We're not gonna play it. So you patch. I'm waiting that till you buggy finish. freezing shit. Oh. You hear me, Rockstar? <laughs> Fix it. I think they're busy with GTA 4. God damn it! They lied to us. <sighs> Last up. Last up. Tommy Thunderlips. Hey, this is Tommy Thunderlips from the forums. Uh, I've been noticing during the episodes that you guys are noticing more and more of the physical things you're doing uh, that will <laughs> probably be turned into shoops. Um, I was wondering if you guys have some pet peeves that people are shooping. Like, uh, I noticed a lot of people turn Yuzo into a girl or that... Uh, there's a lot of homosexual stuff going on between you two guys, but um, what are the good things and bad things that you like about the shoot contest? Um, so, yeah, um, I want to know so I can mess with you guys some more. All right, uh, have a good one, guys. Yow! Yow! Oh, don't, was that a double yow? I think it was. Um, so Tommy Thunderlips is an infamous shooper, so he's trying to find our weak points. Yeah, we don't have weak points. We, we hate it when... When when you make me with like all sorts of muscles yeah. and like fucking like and you hit oh. it with the the porn stars right oh man like the the worst is when people Photoshop me like on a throne with a bunch yeah. of naked women around <laughs> hate it or like you know like doing badang style oh uh, yeah just like with stars. Angelina Jolie yeah. on my lap yeah hate it with piles of money around me oh dude did you see the the clone one clone bone one yes <laughs> that was fucked up <laughs> somebody <laughs> shoots me somebody <laughs> shoots me raping myself <laughs> what the fuck. That's not cool. cool. I think it might have been Tommy Thunderlips. I don't remember, but yeah, that was that was hilarious. That was hilarious, but bad. <laughs> Man, that was fucked up. All right, so, so but, um, we what we like about it is the enthusiasm, and every that's all time, about. we yeah. are not easily offended. We go through that, and it'll be like you know, we'll be gay, whatever. You'll be a girl. You'll be a pedophile. I'll be a pedophile, <laughs> and we're just like that is hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. We love it. Yes. So you're not gonna push any buttons. No. And if we have any secret hates, we're never gonna <laughs> check. We're never gonna find out. <laughs> All right, that That's is our it. show for the week. Please check out our website at YouTube.com and participate in our forums by clicking on the forum link at the top of the front page. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right over here. It's down there. Also rate this video with five stars by rubbing the magic junk. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. Audio engineering is done by Range Dancing, Dancing Queen. Queen. Strong. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out!